Hello everyone, this is Anna and thank you so much for visiting my channel. I've been working on a project this weekend and I think I finally finished it this evening so I thought I would share it with you. Um, the products I used are this dye from Sizzix, it's number 658982 and it's called Mini Album and uh, that's what it looks like when you die cut it. It creates a 5x5 five five album with you can either do a half inch spine or you can do a, up to a one inch spine. Um, and this one uh, is an XL die, so it does take extended cutting pads. Then, let's see, I also used uh, this paper line from Basic Gray. It's called Herbs and Honey. Let's see, Herbs and Honey. And I did have um, a packet of the embellishments. Uh, those are all used. But super cute little uh, veggie-themed, garden-themed um, items. I had a packet of these little envelopes. Um, they're made out of craft paper or decorative bags. Um, so I did use some of these in my project. And then I had a package of the mixed brads and I did use quite a bit of uh, these as well. These are just what's left over. Look at that little chicken, that's super cute. <laughs> cute. Um, and then I also used some of these bottle cap stickers. Uh, there was a uh, few more here, um, but I did not use any of these upright uh, bottle caps here. But also this is from the Herbs and Honey line. And then this is the paper pad itself. And uh, it's just full of really cute garden images, pretty colors, and uh, there's a sticker sheet as well. So let me go ahead and show you my project. So I created a little mini album and this is the cover. It is a five by five with a one inch spine. And I added a cute little strawberry covered button here just for embellishment. Um, I added a little twine bow and used one of the bottle cap embellishments there for decoration. And I just think this turned out really cute. Um, I really like the papers on here. So the cover is made out of a heavyweight chipboard. Um, the nice thing about those Sizzix dies is they can cut out the heavier material. So creating little books like this is pretty easy. Um, on the inside, I just used another one of the papers from the line and uh, a couple of the little embellishments here. This was uh, from the sticker sheet, I believe. And then this was just from one of the little bottle cap stickers. Um, all the little section pages are created a little bit different from each other. Um, so I'll show you each one. Um, this one has a little pocket up on top so you can stick stuff down inside. And it also has a little pocket here as well. So it's a two pocket um, page. And I'll just leave this out so I can show you where the other little tuck spots are. Um, but just use a couple little things there from the uh, embellishment pack. Um, then I have some um, blank pages in between each sec section as well, and I just decorated one or two of them with some of the stickers and things. Um, so there's three or four pages in between each section. Um, this is one of the little uh, brown bags, and so I just scored it here to make it fit within the album, and then it can still be used even though it's, um, you know, sideways. It can fold up and, and contain whatever's inside. And then I just added a few of the little stickers. Um, this page here opens up this way, and um, its little pocket is here on the inside. You can just stick something inside there. And then um, to give this a little bit more strength, I just fold it over the back side of the paper. So what you're seeing is the A side, and this is the B side. I just created a little edge here. And I did that frequently throughout here. Um, here's another section with some blank paper. Um, here's another little um, craft envelope. This one's pretty cute, just a little seed packet. And then so that this one could fit in the uh, mini album without having holes punched through it, I just added it to this little piece of paper here. So it gives it some, some, some stability and then also makes it so I didn't have to punch through it. And there's the back side and a cute little button there. Your radish is the next section, just some more blank pages. And then this red page here, um, again, I just folded that edge back so you can see the other side of the paper. And then here's the inside. It has a pocket here with a little envelope, um, seed packet envelope, tucked inside. The next section here has a little embellishment um, catch out of this little acetate sheet. So you can actually stick something back inside here. I thought that was pretty cute. 
And then um, there's just a few more pages on the inside here before we get to the next section, uh, which is this page. And it opens up this way as well and has another little seed packet envelope in here. Very sweet. And that cute little canning jar embellishment was out of the embellishment pack. It had some um, acetate um, embellishments, which are really cute. And the next section here opens this way. And then you can actually fold it this way as well. So you have a three page, um, three section page here. And then you just fold it back up like that. So no pockets on this one. Um, and then this next section here, just some more blank pages. This section opens up um, this way. And I just added this little noted tab on the outside edge. And it's, you can see it on the back side too. And then this one has another envel um, envelope um, in this little pocket here. You're the cream of the crop. I feel so lucky to know you. Cute. And then another section here with some stickers. So I just wanted to keep this pretty simple, easy to use. Um, and this last section here, um, this page is another one that's kind of adhered together. So it's a two pocket page. Um, so it has a little tuck spot here at the top. And then it has also this little section here you can stick stuff in. And then uh, there are a couple more blank pages. And then the back side of the cover. Uh, this handmade um, die cut is one from Impression Obsession. Um, so I just put my name there on the bottom and then added a couple of little uh, embellishments and stickers from the sticker sheet. And that's it. I think that turned out pretty cute. Um, the ring binder in the inside is a four inch um, uh, two ring binder from Ranger and this is an older older product but I think it's still an active skew for Ranger so you might still be able to find these I've had this forever so um, I thought I would put it to use so thank you so much for watching my video I hope you um, like my project and are inspired this is um, really fun and easy to create and um, you can just do them in so many different themes and um, for so many different reasons. Um, I previously did one that was a camping journal. So I'll link that video down below so you can see that one as well. So thank you so much again for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, I would really love it if you did and come back and visit me again. Thank you so much. Bye.